Hi everyone, welcome to story time. I hope you're excited about story time today. I am. So I need you to get settled in, find a place to sit. We're going to be doing some singing, some dancing, and I'm going to be having some fun stories. Today is a super story time, so we're going to be doing trickster tales. That'll be fun. And there is a kit in your library if you're watching this on the 7th. There's a kit you can pick up. All right, are we ready to get started? And caregivers, if you type in your uh, child's name, I can say hello to them. Hello, Alyssa, and welcome to story time. All right, we're gonna get started. My name is Cindy, and we're gonna start with the story time song here on our Carver County Live Story Time. Story time, story time, welcome to our story time. Lots of books and fun for me and you. We will sing and dance too. Can you clap your hands? How about you, darling? to call out my friend Blossom. Are you ready to call out? Hi Carson, hi Evan, hi Owen. I already said hi to Emily and Darla Ray. I'm so glad you guys are here. Let's call out really loud, ready? Blossom, say Blossom. Let's see, come on out Blossom. Here she comes. Hello, 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 how are you today? How are you today? Are you good? I'm good today. It feels like summer outside, doesn't it? Oh, I love summer. Oh, what? Blossom, your whole tail didn't come out. Oh, we'll pull out her tail. Silly Blossom, her didn't go out. There's her tail. Now she's all the way out. Well, hello, Joey. Hello, Lucas. It's so good to see you this morning. Hi, everybody. We're going to have fun today because we're going to hear stories about people who animals who play tricks on other animals. <laughs> animals who play tricks. Yes, animals who play tricks. Do you ever play tricks? Tricks can be really fun, can't they? But sometimes they're not very nice. And these animals aren't very nice. Now, I gave you a clue. Can you guess what the first, what the letter is today? When I said trickster tails, what letter do you think that starts with? Trickster tail. T <gasps> did some of you guess it? I think you did. It's the letter T. Very good. Look at the letter T. T, T, T. Trickster is the letter T. Now, this is the uppercase letter T. We have a lowercase letter T, too. And that looks, do you think it looks the same or different? I almost gave it away. Does it look the same or different? You guess. What do you think? I'll show you. It looks, oh, it looks kind of the same and kind of different. You're right, Blossom. It looks kind of the same and kind of different. Let's, let's look at what's the same. 
about the capital T and the lowercase t. Okay, get your magic fingers. Capital T has a straight line down, and up at the top it has a straight line across, right? That's the capital T. Now the lowercase t, get your magic finger, has a straight line down. Oh, that's the same. It looks a little shorter, but it has a straight line down. And then it has a straight line across, but look at where the straight line across is. It's a little lower. The capital T has the straight line across way up at the tippy top, like it's a roof or something way up there. But the lowercase has the straight across a little bit lower, right? Now, what does sound as the T make? Right? And besides stripster tails, I have a tea bag. And the tea bag has some things that start with the letter T. Oh, look at this. Look what Blossom got. Blossom got. <gasps> Blossom has a tiger. Ah, Blossom, you have a tiger. Ooh, it's a tiger. What does the tiger say? Roar. Right, tiger begins with the letter T. It's a little tiger. What else begins with the letter T? Oh, look at this. This is in our story today. What's this? <gasps> a turtle. There's a turtle. Turtle begins with the letter T. Yes, it does. And turtle, there's a turtle in our story today. You'll have to watch for that. Oh my goodness, there's other things in here. But I think we are going to go on to our stories because we have a lot to do today. So we're going to hurry up and move on into our stories. Can you say goodbye to Blossom? She's going to go into her box and listen from there so we can get going on our stories. So, our first trickster tale today is a story about a little trickster called Anansi. Now, do you know who Anansi is? Oh, look at Anansi. Can you see Anansi? What is Anansi? Anansi is a spider. Oh my goodness. And Anansi is a trickster. He likes to play tricks on lots of, lots of other animals in the jungle. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Archie. Hi, Linda. I'm so glad you joined us. I'm going to move my teas so we have room to do my story. This is called Anansi Goes Fishing. Now, there's a lot of Anansi stories out there. Anansi plays a lot of tricks. And it's not always nice, but he normally learns his lesson. Let's see if he learns his lesson in this story. One day, Anansi was going home. Can you crawl like a spider with your fingers? Crawl, 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 right? And he ran into his friend, Turtle. Look at Turtle, remember the T word? And Turtle had what? What does Turtle have in his, in his mouth? What does he have? fish. A big, beautiful fish. And Anansi said, Ooh, I love fish. Where'd you get that fish? I'm hungry. I'd like to eat a fish. And Turtle said, I caught this fish down at the, at the pond. Ooh, said Anansi, I'd like to catch a fish. How do I catch a fish? Can I learn to catch a fish? Will you teach me? And Turtle said, sure, I will teach you how to catch a fish. I'll meet you down at the pond tomorrow morning, bright and early and I'll show you how to catch a fish. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you, turtle. Now, the two animals went their separate ways, but Anansi was thinking, ha, 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 I'm going to trick that turtle. I'm going to trick that turtle because I'm going to make him do all the work and I won't do any work at all and I'll still get fish. <laughs> He's going to try and trick the turtle, but the turtle was thinking, hmm, I know that Anansi. That Anansi is a trickster. And I'm going to make sure that I trick him instead. Oh, ooh, they're going to trick each other. Well, the next morning, bright and early, Turtle was waiting down by the pond. So here I have a piece of green that's the shoreline, and here's some water. Okay, so this is my pond. Turtle was waiting down by the pond, and Anansi said, Oh, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready to learn how to catch fish. What do we have to do? 
And Turtle said, well, the first thing we do is we need to make a net. Now, when I'm alone, making a net is hard work and I get very tired. But since there's two of us, we can split up the job. One of us can make the net and the other one can get tired. Which would you like to do, Anansi? And then Anansi said, oh, I don't want to get tired. I don't want to get tired. All right, I'll make the net. You get tired. <laughs> he thought he was tricking Turtle. And Turtle said, okay, I'll show you how to make a net. And then I'm going to sit down over here and watch you make it. And that's what they did. So Anansi learned how to tie strings together. And he worked all day making a net. He worked very hard. And he said, Turtle, are you getting tired? And Turtle would say, yes, I'm getting very tired. You must be working very hard. <gasps> I'll keep working. And at the end of the day, Anansi made a beautiful net. And Turtle said, very good job, Anansi. I am so tired. You must have worked very hard today. I'm too tired to do any more. We'll come back tomorrow morning and put the net in the pond. Oh, and Turtle went home. And Anansi said, hee, 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 I'm Tricky Turtle. Is he? Well, the next morning, the two friends met down by the river. Oh, good morning, Anansi. Good morning, Turtle. I'm ready to fish some more. Now what do we do? Well, the next step is to put the fish net into the pond. Now, putting the fish net in and placing it in the water is a lot of work. So one of us is going to get really, really tired. You did the work yesterday, and I got tired. So today we'll switch. I'll do the work, and you can get tired. Oh, no, said Anansi. I don't want to get tired. I'll do the work. You get tired. <laughs> hmm, I'm not sure. So the turtle sat down by the side of the river, and the Nazi sat to work, placing the net that he had made the day before into the pond. So he took the net, and he worked all day, putting it out into the water, spreading it out so it would catch fish. And he worked very hard. And Turtle got so tired that he actually fell asleep. <coughs> oh. So at the end of the day, Anansi woke him up. Turtle, wake up, wake up, wake up. I got the net set. How is it? Oh, that's a good job, Anansi. I am so tired after all the work you did, though. I'm going to go home and sleep. Tomorrow, we will pull it up and catch fish. All right, all right. I can hardly wait. So they went home. Now the next morning, they came to the shore again. And Turtle said, all right, all right, today is the day. We're going to pull the net out and catch some fish. And we'll have fish to eat tonight. Yay! So one of us needs to do the work. And the other one will get very, very tired. Because it's a lot of work to pull out the fish net. So you worked the last few days, so it's my turn. I'll work and you get tired. And Nancy said, no, can you sit with me? No, I don't want to get tired. I'll do the work. You get tired. Oh, he's trying to trick me, said Nancy. He's trying to make me get tired. Oh, I'm not going to fall for that. And Turtle lay down at the edge of the shore and promptly fell asleep while Nancy started pulling in the fishing net. Now, all day, Nancy worked pulling in the fishing net and look at what he found in the fish net there were fish and at the end of the day he had a nice pile at the edge of, wa of the water with fish and he woke up turtle he said turtle wake up look 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 I pulled in the net and there are fish in it now what do we do now what do you do and turtle said well now we need to cook the fish so we can eat the fish now, cooking the fish is a lot of work. So one of us is going to work and one will get very tired. Do you want to do the work this time so I get tired? And Anansi said, no. Remember, can you say no? No. I'll do the work. You get tired. So Anansi built a fire. Let's see. I got a fire over here. Where's my fire? Anansi built a fire. And he took a pan and 
we put some fish in it. There's one fish, and there's another. And meanwhile, Turtle, what was Turtle doing? Now, I want you to think a minute. I want you to think a minute. Who is doing all the work in this story? It's Anansi, right? Who is tricking who? Turtle's the one doing the tricking, isn't he? But Turtle was sleeping and Anansi was going, right? And the fish was smelling so good and he woke up early and said, Turtle, 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 the fish is bad and it looks so good. Now what do we do? And the Turtle said, well, now we eat the fish. Now when I'm alone, I eat the fish and I get very, very full. But since there's two of us, we can split the job. One of us can eat and one of us will get very full. Which would you like, Anansi? And Anansi was not thinking. He was so hungry. All he could think of was his stomach. And he said, I want to get very full. All right, you sit down and you will get very full while I eat the fish. So Anansi sat down and waited while Turtle took the fish and started eating. And Turtle ate and ate and said, Anansi, Anansi, are you full yet? No, I'm not full yet. I'm still really hungry. Oh, okay, I'll keep eating. And Turtle kept eating and kept eating until the fish was all gone. And he said, oh, are you full yet, Anansi? And Anansi, his eyes were tight shut, said, no, I'm still hungry. Well, that's too bad because I'm full and the fish is all gone. What? said Anansi. You tricked me. You tricked me. Well, you were going to trick me. And the turtle went home. Now, this was not a total loss. Anansi did learn how to fish, right? And he could do the work himself and catch his own fish. And maybe he learned a lesson about tricking. And spiders, because of this story, spiders became very good at weaving. And you can see Anansi's nets all over the place. Anywhere you look, and they're called spider webs. Isn't that fun? <laughs> and that's the story of Anansi goes fishing. All right. I have another story for you. I'm just going to go right into it because we don't have a lot of time. So this is a fun story about another trickster, not a spider. This trickster is Coyote. Now, Coyote is a trickster too. Well, what does a coyote say? Do you know? Coyote goes, oh, oh, right? We actually have coyotes around my house. I've seen them in my backyard. They live around here in Carver County. Now, they hide a lot. They do hide a lot. But they sometimes you can hear them outside going, yip, 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 oh. You can hear them. Now, Coyote is another trickster just like Anansi, and he likes getting things for nothing. He likes to get them and not work at all. Now, one day, Coyote was walking along, and he said, I am Coyote. Can you say that with me? I am Coyote. I go where I want to go. I do what I want to do, and I take what I want to take. Hmm. That is an interesting attitude, isn't it? But he was going through the mesas in the desert and he came, he heard a sound. He heard this one. I put it on the wrong side. <gasps> he heard whirr, whirr, whirr. And he saw a little hummingbird. And the hummingbird said, Coyote, Coyote, what are you doing? You're gonna get into trouble. And Coyote said, oh, go away, silly bird. I am Coyote, I'm king of the desert, and I, remember what he said? I go where I want to go, I do what I want to do, and I take what I want to take, right? Oh, Coyote, you're silly, you can't just take everything you want. And Coyote kept going. Now, Hummingbird, Hummingbird's actually kind of a nice guy here. Hummingbird said, watch out, Coyote, don't go that way. Why not? Well, that way lies danger. Oh, I don't care about danger. I'm Coyote, remember? I go where I want to go. I do what I want to do, and I take what I want to take. I know, but up that way, there is danger. Don't touch anything you find. 
and Coyote ignored Hummingbird and went on his way. Now, he got up into the canyon and sure enough, in the canyon, he saw a whole bunch of boulders covered with beautiful blankets. And he thought, this is really strange. But that's a beautiful blanket, and who am I? I am Coyote, and I go where I want to go. I do what I want to do, and I take what I want to take, and I want that blanket. It would make a really nice coat for me. So he picked one, and he took it, and he wrapped it around himself, and he said, oh, I like this. This is very beautiful. And he dashed off down the canyon. Now, as he was running, he started hearing a sound. And I want you to do something with me. I'm going to put the boulder right there. And I need you to take your hands, and I need you to pat your legs and go like this. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Okay, now we're going to start really soft. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Rumble, rumble, rumble. And Coyote, Coyote looked around and he said, What's that? I hear a rumbling sound. That's very odd. And then it got louder. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Oh my. It sounds like it's coming my way. That fellow is very noisy, whoever he is. And he heard it again. Ready? Rumble, rumble, rumble. Rumble, rumble, rumble. And it got so loud. Ready? Rumble, rumble, rumble. Rumble, rumble, rumble. And Coyote looked behind him. Guess what he saw? He saw the boulder following him. It was the boulder making the rumbling noise. And Coyote said, yikes, there's a crazy rock following me. And he started running and running, and the boulder followed. Ready? Rumble, 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 rumble. And Coyote ran and he dashed, but the boulder kept following. Ready? Rumble, 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 rumble. rumble. And Coyote was getting very tired. And he came across the hummingbird, and the hummingbird said, you need to give back the blanket. That's not yours. No, I won't. It's my blanket, and I'm Coyote. And remember, I go where I want to go. I do what I want to do, and I take what I want to take, and this blanket is mine. But that boulder will follow you forever. Oh, I can get away. And he ran, and ran, and ran, and the boulder following. Ready? Rumble, rumble, rumble. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Now, Coyote came to a place where he saw a mule deer. And the mule deer has big antlers. And he said, mule deer, mule deer, help me. I'm being followed by a crazy boulder. You're so strong. Can you stop him? And mule deer said, sure. So mule deer put his head down. Can you get your horns out, your antlers? And aimed him at the boulder. And ready? The boulder went crash. Mule deer went thump. And the boulder went rumble, 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 rumble. And kept going. Oh, that didn't work. Coyote ran and ran and ran and ran. And the boulder kept coming. Rumble, 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 rumble. And Coyote came to a place. He saw a big horn sheep. A big horn sheep. Very strong. And Coyote said, Big horn sheep, big horn sheep, can you help me, please? There's a crazy boulder following me. I don't know why the boulder's following me. Do you know why the boulder's following him? <gasps> we do know, don't we? Because he took the blanket. Oh, silly coyote. And but coyote didn't tell the big horn sheep. He said, I don't know why the boulder's following me. Can you please stop it? And go and the bighorn sheep said, yes, I'm strong. I will try. So this time, the bighorn sheep is going to kick it with its legs. Are you ready? Can you put your legs up like a bighorn sheep? And we're going to kick that boulder. Ready? Kick. Kick. And the boulder went. The, the bighorn sheep went crash. And the bighorn sheep went bunk. And the boulder kept coming. Ready? Rumble, 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 rumble. Oh, no. And Coyote kept running, and he said, <laughs> I'm getting tired. This is, this is crazy. And who came along with the hummingbird? And the hummingbird said, give the blanket back. No, I won't give the blanket back. It's my blanket. 
but you've got to help me. And the hummingbird said, oh, I, I am angry with you. You should give the blanket back, but you're right. I don't want to see you get hurt. And so with that, the hummingbird took his wings. Now, you got to help me with this. Hummingbird wings can flap really, really, really fast, right? So I need you to hold your hands out. They're not very big, so you don't have to do this. You can do this and just flap really fast. And he flap, 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 flap. And he flapped so fast, he created a huge wind. And the boulder rumbled up and stopped right on the coyote's tail. <gasps> but it didn't mush coyote. Shoo! Oh, he stopped it. And coyote said, yikes! Now my tail is going to be flat as a pancake. What am I going to do? And hummingbird said, I can help you, but only if you promise to give the blanket back. Do you think Coyote will do that? Coyote said, fine. I'll give the blanket back. Fine. Fine. I'll do that. All right. All right. Get your wings ready, hummingbirds. Let's get our wings ready. Ready? And hummingbird created such a wind that the boulder went crack and broke into off of Coyote's tail. And Coyote said, fine, I'll give the blanket back, but what about my tail? And Hummingbird flapped his wings again. Ready? Flap, 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 flap. And Coyote's tail got bushy and full. And that is why Coyote, if you see him, has a very bushy, full tail. Now, do you think Coyote learned his lesson? I don't think so. There's a lot of stories out there about how Coyote gets into lots of trouble. All right, I am so glad you joined me for story time. We're going to do a really quick song before I call out Blossom. So I need you guys, you can stand up, and if you're with other people, you can hold hands. And or if you're alone, just spin around in a circle. If you hold hands, go round and round in a circle. Ready? This is an old song called Go In and Out the Window. But we're going to start by going round and round the village. Ready? Go round and round the village. Go round and round the village. Go round and round the village. As we have done before. Oh, very good. Now, can you jump in? circle or jump forward and jump back and we'll go in and out the window. 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 As we have done before. Alright, now can you pretend you're going up a staircase? Ready? Go. That's like marching in place. Go up and down the staircase. Go up and down the staircase. Go up and down the staircase. As we have done before, go in and out the window, go in and out the window, go in and out the window. As we have done before, now turn and face somebody else in the room. If there is someone, you can just look at me if there isn't. Now step and face your partner, now step and face your partner. This is tricky because you can clap your own hands or you can clap your partner's hands. And clap your hands together. Now clap your hands together as we have done before. Go in and out the window. Go in and out the window. Go in and out the window as we have done before. One more time. Go round and round the village. Go round and round the village. Go round to my silly trickster tales. Those silly tricksters, Anansi and Coyote, they always get in trouble and there's lots of stories about them. All right, let's call out Blossom. Are you ready? Say, 
Blossom, come out, come out, Blossom. Hello, 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 how are you today, everybody? Oh my goodness, did you like those stories? What? They're yelling something. I think they're saying my tail is still in the box. Yes, it is, do you wanna pull it out? Okay, all right, let's hold on her tail. I know she forgets. Thank you for reminding us. I'm so glad you were here today. And we had some fun stories and we sang a song that was fun. So we'll see you next time. Let's play Jack in the Box really quick, okay? All right, let's play Jack in the Box. Everybody get down in your box. Be really, really quiet. Put your hands over your head. Pretend you're in a box. Remember how this goes? I say Jack in the Box so quiet and still. Will you come out? And then you stand up and hold your arms up and say, yes, I will, as loud as you want. All right, get into your boxes. Shh. Jack in the Box. So quiet and still. Will you come out? Yes, I will. Yay. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye.